So this is the trace we're looking for when we're looking for a new claim. So you've got somewhere to start working straight away. But the first thing I've got to do is see if there's any colour in this and also see if it gets thicker behind. Ten metres below the pockmarked fields of Cooper Pedy, Greg Scully, a.k.a. The Bishop, is searching for new hope in the dying days of his season. Yeah, so there's no colour here. This is potch. It is classified as opal, but no colour is worthless. With his only claim not producing, Greg is hunting for opal missed in abandoned claims, which he could then re-peg in his own name. So we've run out of luck at 8 Mile. We haven't found any more opal there, and time's ticking on. So I've been searching the field, driving around on various fields, looking for a claim, looking for one where we could move. A bishop from the Christian Orthodox Church, Greg's vision is to find enough opal to purchase a derelict dwelling and convert it into a safe haven for Cuba Pedy's most in need. So the goal this season was to find opal to get a deposit for the property for the mission centre. We haven't achieved that goal. Why aren't I finding opal? Patience. Often it's just an issue of patience. I've been seeking a bit of wisdom and uh, knowledge on, on which direction to go here. Often I'll just go to the church and contemplate and pray and attempt to uh, seek the mind of God on the matter. Lord Master, Almighty God, to keep us in peace this blessed day of the days of our life. Lord Master, Almighty God, the Father of our Lord God and Saviour Jesus Christ, we thank you on every occasion, every condition of all things. You know, God just doesn't throw opal at you like it's gifts from heaven. You have to do your effort. And so it could be that I haven't done enough effort yet. I haven't looked at enough claims. I haven't gained enough experience. So I think it's right that we go out looking wider afield and find a mine, another mine. Perhaps if we do that, we'll get onto Opal. Only the good Lord knows. We can only try. For the bishop and partner, Scott Stevens, their mining experience has been in open pits. With little time spent underground, they're calling on local miner of 30 years. Hey, Robin. Robin Moore. Good, mate. Had a chat to him and asked him to show us if he knew of any uh, good spots to relocate to. Up here, take you down and show you around. Oh, there'd been a few tunnel machines down here then. It's a good looking claim, it's a good tunnel, good underground drives. You've got a nice big pillar here yep. on the right hand side, you're going into virgin ground, so it should be okay. There's miles of tunnels here, yep. just stay in the drive. You shouldn't have a problem. Now largely abandoned, Six Mile Opal Field has been mined heavily for over 50 years. Beneath the surface lies a labyrinth of interconnected claims and tunnels stretching for kilometres. All right, you can do the whacking. Just watch your fingers. Yep. The new claim joins to the vast tunnel network but Greg's lease entitles him to work just 50 square metres of it. You've got to have your permit to be on the field and to mine a claim, you've got to register your claim, you've got to peg it and then go register it and then you're right to work it. There's a lot of dangers when you go underground. You've got to watch out for any type of falling rocks. There's been a number of opal miners lose their lives underground when the ceiling has come down. Uh, if you're using a jack pick, you send vibrations through the rock. Remember to stay to the right, Scotty. All these things you have to watch out for when you're underground in a new mine. We've got to go find that electrical cord. Absolutely. 
First job, find the cable they drop down a ventilation shaft to power their jackhammers. Are we at the bottom, are we? I thought there was a chamber at the back. There's around the corner. There. I'm already disorientated. Can you believe that? Not going to take much for you to get lost, is it? No, well, it's... <laughs> uh, heaps of tunnels down here. First thing, check above. Make sure the ceiling's not going to come down on me while I'm here. You lead the way so I can see the, uh, yeah. the rocks. Otherwise, I'll take a tumble. There's tunnels going off everywhere here. Yeah? Let's hope the court is here, otherwise we've got to have a search party. <laughs> the Bishop and partner Scott are trying to find a crucial power cord dropped into their new mine through a ventilation shaft. Oh, yeah, this is the chamber. Yeah. Is the cord here anywhere? No. Nothing to the right? It's back over there. Scotty's gone off looking, but there's tunnels everywhere here. And my light is almost dead flat, so I'm going to stay here right under this hole. Wait for Scotty to come back. Greg! Did you find the cord? No. She goes a fair way back that way. The only option is for you to go up top. <laughs> I'll sit here and yell out. You locate my voice and find this hole. We're trying to drop the cord down here. Greggy's waiting underneath the hole. He's going to yell out. Greggy! The problem is, where in the dozens of scattered holes Greg. is the bishop? Not this one. Greggy! Greggy! That's the right hole. Found him. All right. In the last week of his season, the Bishop can finally get mining. Beautiful. The goal this season was to get a deposit for the Mission Centre. We haven't achieved that goal. We've still got a little time left of the season, so we'll go all out. We need to find the Opal. <laughs> 